as long as the entertainment is constructive. And you mentioned something about the types of sounds that people listen to. Now, I have it in the book that uh, there are two types of sound in the known universe. There is music and there is noise. Now, what is the difference between music and noise? Music is a sound that when a person hears that sound, he or she is likely to think of something of constructive value, of doing something constructive, of speaking constructively. That's music. Noise is just opposite. When you hear it, you think of something that's non-constructive and or destructive. And that's the only difference between all the sounds in the universe, whether it's the sound of a waterfall, a sound of glass breaking, a sound of uh, a tree falling, a sound of a truck passing by in the middle of the night or by your window, or the sound of someone playing a violin, or a trumpet, or someone singing. Now, the only criteria here is, what do you think about when you hear that sound? Whatever sound it is. And if you think about doing something constructive, if you think about people doing things that are of constructive value, then that is music to your ears. That sound that you're listening to. If you think about doing something or engaging in something or participating in something with others, that is non-constructive or destructive, then that, by definition, is noise. And that will vary from person to person, and even with the same person, it will vary from time to time. And that's the only way you can divide it up. Uh, categorizing it by so-called classical music or hip-hop or blues or popular or R&B, uh, these are okay, I guess, for commercial reasons. But for the individual listener, just stop and think. When you hear an artist performing, what is it that you are thinking about? at that time that you are listening? And is it in the category of something that is constructive or something that is non-constructive? And that is the only criteria. And most of the times you can tell uh, whether it has a constructive or non-constructive effect, the sound I'm talking about, by just watching people's behavior. And then determine whether or not it's constructive or non-constructive as a result of what they're listening to. Hmm. Excellent criteria. About as pure as anything can get. And that's how, that's without passing judgment on so-called categories of music, like either praising or condemning hip-hop or blues or classical or what they call country and western. Just listen to the sounds and ask yourself, what are you thinking about when you hear this? When you hear it and you're enjoying it, what are you really thinking about? Are you thinking about something that's constructive or non-constructive? Do you think that what you're listening to will inspire people to do things that are constructive or non-constructive? And you can tell simply by watching people's behavior who listen to certain types of sounds. And that is the only logical criteria. Everything in codification, in compensatory codification, is supposed to be logical. It's not personal, it's business.